Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review since 1113 AM, and it's Monday, April 22nd, 2024. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another one of these Bones Coffee Company Cold Brew Latte Coffee Energy Drinks. I got this at Walmart as $2.98, it was okay priced for a coffee drink, but um, anyway, this one has a lot of caffeine in it. It has 255 milligrams caffeine, so oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, It'll definitely get pretty late, you know, just saying. So yeah, don't OD, drink in moderation. You should probably shouldn't drink and have any anxiety problems or any, like, health conditions, you know what I mean? But um, anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good, we shall see. This is the most interesting one of the ones that I got. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this one will be good, we shall see, but um, anyway... Today I'm going to be reviewing the Electric Unicorn Bones Coffee Company Cold Brew Latte Coffee Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Very colorful, very, oh yeah. Very, like, um, neon and, like, rainbow and stuff. It looks pretty cool. But, um, anyway. It gives me like Lady Gaga Born This Way music video vibes. Um, it reminds me of like Highway Unicorn. Um, but yeah, there's like a skeleton on the unicorn and he has like a lightning bolt in his hand and the unicorn's like shooting lasers out of his eyes. Really cool looking, interesting can design. Very aesthetic. Also with like the, um, the grid pattern and stuff, it reminds me of like Vaporwave or Synthwave or something. Um, but yeah, very colorful can. It says it's fruity cereal flavored, so that's interesting. It's the first fruity cereal flavored coffee drink that I've had. So yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. We shall see. But yeah, right on top it says fruity cereal flavored cold brew latte premium coffee. And it says same thing again. Silver top, silver tab. Bombs Best Buy in production code. Best by January 29th, 2025. So it's still fresh for a while. It's in a smooth labeled can. Bones Coffee Company, Electric Unicorn, Cold Brew Latte, Fruity Cereal, Naturally and Artificially Flavored, 11 fluid ounces, 325 milliliters, Bones Coffee Company. Shows a skeleton on the bottom of the little can and the logo, and he's like drinking some coffee. There's like, um, I guess a lot of the fruity cereal pieces like floating all around them. Really cool looking can. Distributed by Bones Coffee Company, 79 Mid Cafe Terrace, Suite 8, Cape Coral, Florida, 33991, www.bonescoffee.com. Share your experience, hashtag Bones Coffee. Questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to our support team, support at bonescoffee.com. Has Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and YouTube logos. Doesn't have the new X logo, though. It's the, still the old TikTok logo. Nutrition facts, one serving retainer, serving size 11 fluid ounces, 325 milliliters, members on calories 210. Total fat 6 grams, 8%, saturated fat 3 grams, 15%, trans fat 0 grams, cholesterol 15 milligrams, 6%, sodium 180 milligrams, 8%, total carbohydrates 31 grams, 11%, dietary rubber less than 1 gram, 3%, total sugars 28 grams, include 16 grams added sugars, 33%, protein 8 grams, vitamin D 0.1 micrograms, 0%, calcium 270 milligrams, 20%, iron 0.1 milligrams, 0%, potassium 940 milligrams, 20%, then it has other ingredients. Cold brew coffee, which is cold brew coffee and water, reduced fat, milk, cane sugar, sunflower, lecithin, dipotassium phosphate, natural artificial flavor, sodium bicarbonate, acacia gum, and gel and gum. Contains milk, contains turned. Sorry, contains 255 milligrams caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We'll definitely get you pretty late, you know, just saying. But yeah, caffeine contents may vary. Not recommended for children, people sense caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. Shake gently and serve chilled over ice, gluten free. Has a recycling logo, please recycle after removing labeling. Has the K in the circle and the D, which I think the K in the circle means it's like kosher. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, but um, anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. My throat's been like hurting all day. Sorry for messing up talking to you. Electric Unicorn. Very interesting can design. Can then has like a cool design like on the side of the can. This looks like it's like ripped or something.
SKU, the distributor information and stuff. Now for the nutrition fact side. It's a little bit reflective, so I'm sorry about that. But I'll show off the can up close though in a minute so you can see it a little bit better. The other ingredients. The warning and stuff. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can, but in anyway, I'm not gonna show off the can up closer quick, so hold on now. The Electric Unicorn, Bones Coffee Company, Cold Brew Latte, Coffee Energy Drink. It's fruity, cereal flavored. Yeah, this is a bit more of a more unique um, coffee drink, especially with the flavor and the colors and the design. Looks pretty cool, very unique. Very neon and rainbow. Very metal. Reminds me of like Lady Gaga. It's very like highway unicorn. Cool bean can. Silver top silver tab. Comes Best Buy Dayton Production Code, January 29th, 2025, so it's still fresh for a while. She's like lightning, skeleton riding the unicorn, it's holding lightning or a thunderbolt, shooting lasers. Looks pretty cool. This key you and the distributor information. Now for the nutrition fact side. Other ingredients. Contains 255 milligrams of caffeine. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, now I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on that. Okay, I shut off the can up close, so I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on now. Okay, it didn't really explode when I opened it. And it's not all the way filled to the top because it's a 12 ounce can, but it's only 11 ounces of liquid. So it's like um, filled up by where the tab is. Try to pour a little bit out so you can see it. Okay, I poured a little bit out, but I'm um, anyway. Um, it's not really frothy. Um, it's pretty like smooth. Um, but yeah, the color is like a light brown coffee color. It looks just like a normal like coffee drink. Um, so yeah. Um, but I'm anyway the scent. Ooh, whoa, 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 Yeah, definitely smells similar to like the fruity cereal, like I think it was like the Alani New Protein Shake I had before. It smells like that. But um, I guess if you mix it with like some coffee. Um, definitely has like a rainbow candy sort of scent. Reminds me of like a little bit like some sort of like Wonka candy. Maybe like Nerds or something. Or like, um, some sort of like, um, Not really like fun dip, but um, well, maybe a little bit like fun dip, but um, it also reminds me of like um, Lucky Charm cereal a teeny bit. Doesn't really say like what type of fruity cereal it's supposed to be. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like fruity pebbles, but um, to me, though, it's definitely more like Lucky Charms, though. Um, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, it still smells pretty good, though. Definitely a very fruity, sweet smell. Definitely like a mixed fruit, definitely a little bit like a berry. Definitely smell like strawberry, and maybe it has a little bit of like a banana scent, and maybe also a little bit like, um, I don't know, like, um, apple or something. Has a little bit of like a, yeah, it's like, mostly like a berry coffee, but, um, also has a little bit of like a citrusy scent too, though. Um, so yeah, it's definitely interesting. 
Definitely smells really good though. This is probably a good breakfast drink. Go good with like a lot of breakfast foods. And um, it'll give you a good energy boost too because yeah, it has almost 300 milligrams caffeine in it. So oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But I'm anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yep, I definitely like this one better than the um, French Totus one I had in my last review. And also, um, the other one that I reviewed, the um, S'mores one. This one has definitely a way more of like a flavorful flavor. Um, even though it has like cold brew, it doesn't really have that bitter like cold brew taste like the S'mores one had. Um, the um, fruity cereal taste definitely overpowers it, definitely makes it way sweeter. Um, but yeah, so definitely a strong coffee scent though, but um, not too strong. Um, but yeah, really sweet, very smooth. It's like um, not as thick as like the um, Starbucks drinks. It's definitely more runny. Um, but yeah, it's smooth though. You can probably chug if you want to. Um, but yeah, really tasty. Definitely tastes like um, some sort of fruity cereal. That's for sure. I don't know. It has a little bit like a Lucky Charm sort of taste, but um. But it might also be a little bit like fruity pebbles. Well, to me, it's actually more like Fruit Loops than fruity pebbles. But um, yeah, it's definitely like either Lucky Charms or um, Fruit Loops, or like a mix of both. Um, but yeah, definitely an interesting mix of flavors. Mostly like a berry coffee drink, but I'm um, still really good though. Very sweet, very smooth. Orange Wise will definitely give pretty good. It's 255 milligrams caffeine, doesn't have any B vitamins or anything. But I still say Orange Wise lasts about four and a half hours, about six hours of energy. We work a little bit more. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely give you pretty late, you know. So, oh yeah, Energy Wise works. It has a cool can design. It's okay price, like almost $3 at Walmart. So, um, new. So, definitely be on the lookout for it. This one's definitely way more unique. Um, compared to the last two flavors that I reviewed, but I still have a couple other um, drinks of these left to review. There's actually two more flavors, but I only have one of the other two flavors. Um, the Walmarts near me didn't have the other flavor, the cannoli one, um, so I'll have to try that one sometime. Um, but yeah, this also, I don't know why, but it's giving me like an alcoholic drink sort of vibe. Reminds me a little bit of like, um, I think I had like a chocolate, like alcoholic drink before. I tasted like one of my mom's drinks. Um, this reminds me of that taste a little bit. I don't know if it's like Bailey's or something. This also has a little bit of a taste similar to like the um, Irish Blend Java Monster. So if you had that one, um, it has a little bit of that sort of taste in there too. Um, but yeah, definitely an interesting mix of flavors. Very fruity. Um, definitely very sweet. And yeah, definitely a strong coffee taste too though at the same time. Definitely um, pretty evenly mixed. But um, yeah, definitely try it. Definitely highly recommend it. Um, I wish um, the aftertaste was maybe a little bit sweeter. Um, it's a little bit bitter in the aftertaste, but I'm um, not bad though. Um, but yeah, still really good though. I'll probably give the Fruity Cereal Electric Unicorn Bones Coffee Company Cold Brew Latte Coffee Energy Drink. You know what, boys? You know what? I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. Definitely like a berry coffee taste. Um, mostly like strawberry, but um, yeah, definitely tastes like a um, different mix of cereals though. Um, so yeah, pretty good though. So yeah, definitely try it. Energy-wise, it works good. It's a cool can sign. It's okay price. So yeah, definitely try it. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I'm wearing my Rochimaru Funko Pop shirt that I got from GameStop. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. On my next review, I'm gonna be reviewing the Cinnabon ones of this one. Stay tuned for that review. So I'm not gonna review still more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.